Story YouTube. So, what's up? What's popping? What's cracking? I'm here with another tier list. So, this is going to be my personal, probably favorite tier list that I'm going to do. Because uh, I like beer. I like alcohol in general. So, except for wine, I can't do that. But, I'm here with a fucking beer insider tier list. I'm actually kind of excited to do this. This is all the different types of like beers and ciders that I have personally tasted that I'm probably missing some or like I'm missing some that I've only drank once. I didn't want to bring those into the picture because of the simple fact of I need more of a uh, more of a taste of it, as you could say, more. I, I just need to taste it more to be able to fully secure my spot. For whether it's cultured or complete utter trash, living in Oscar's ass. So, first off, we're gonna start off with the Angry Orchard Rose, which I personally feel like it's it's pretty it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's more along the lines of just something like I I would get. I will, I'll put it at a I'll put it at a good A. I put I put it I put it there. It's, it's not really, I wasn't really expecting it to taste the way that it does, but it's really like kind of smooth. I, I really like it. So yeah, it, it can, it goes up there in A. It's not cultured, but then again, it's not something that's just meh. Like, you know, like if it's there, I would, I would pick it over the crisp or like the green apple, me personally. So that's that's just my full thoughts of it. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, these arrogant bastards, one hundred percent trash, garbage. Uh, I would never recommend this to anybody unless they really don't like life or they feel like they really want to grow some hair on their chest. Don't, don't do it. It's not really that good unless you're really into like IPAs or like anything like that. It's something that's really strong, especially like. The first arrogant bastard I've ever tried was a double bastard. So, uh, double bastards are even worse. There's below trash. It didn't even make it onto the tier list because I don't. I hate it with a passion. But arrogance, I can tolerate more. But it's still utter garbage. So, yeah. Uh, blue moons. <laughs> Literally have these once in a blue moon. So, they're they're okay. I guess is more of one of those that's just like, mm, like, I don't know if everything else is sold out, then I will get that, basically. Uh, let's see, next is these blue ribbons. Um, Honestly, it's another thing that it's not really trash, but it's something that I personally would not get. I kind of see these as more of like, not to be really races but I've never seen anybody other than white people drink these to be honest uh I think they're okay it's a it's a okay beer it wouldn't go out of my way to buy it so yeah uh Bud Light Lime Bud Light Lime is a B okay definitely recommend it over a regular Bud Light honestly it has more, it gives more of a flavor, pretty smooth. I don't mind it if it's there and I'm feeling like, oh, like I, I feel like I just want to taste a little bit, you know, a little bit of lime or like it's, it's not even really much of a lime taste. It's more of like, I, I don't know. It's, it's like the lime, it's like a hint of lime, but you still have like the beer. Like it's, it's, it's pretty good. I like to mix it with like other stuff inside of it just for crazy little combinations. Like, oh, if you if you really want to go out of your way, you can put like the little Hawaiian pet like pouches or like the Hawaiian punch pouches and shit like that. Like, I, I don't know. It's you can be creative with it. So you go for that. Uh, the platinum. But like platinum is also an A. Uh, people sleep on this. This is actually pretty good. It gets you. Kind of fucked up if you drink enough of it. But then again, if you drink enough of anything, it'll get you pretty fucked up. But I 100% prefer the Platinums over any of the Bud Lights. 
or like even Budweiser. So, me personally, I find them pretty good. Bud Light itself, still in the same category as a lime. It's just kind of like there. I'll get it if like I need it or like I'll drink it if somebody gives it to me. Uh, it's eh, it's me. Eh. Budweiser. Uh, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, so let, let's get this straight. I feel like Budweiser is the country black people beer. And I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot of I've seen a lot of people drink it that are like really really country, and I've never really realized how many black people that are like really country drink this beer. Like I just. I think it's wild, but it's actually like a pretty good beer, pretty smooth. I'll I'll get it, especially like they come in thirty racks anyways. If I knew if I want a thirty rack, that's where I'm going. So, basically, that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Ah. Next, we have a Colt Forty Five. If you heard the song, you already. You basically already know that this is a beer. If you've tried it, it's okay. It's not something that I will go out of my way to buy. So, just leave it at that. I've tried it multiple times. I'm like, eh, this is okay. Not worth any of the hype. Not anything like that. Uh, Core, Core's Light. I'm going to have to put this down with trash i feel like this is a trash beer it's literally piss water uh I, why would i do that it, it i feel like i'm hydrating myself as i'm drinking so it's yeah uh corona coronas is also a b you can do a lot of stuff with coronas like especially like you know mexicans do a lot of different things with coronas that's pretty fucking wild so i think mean, corona is Obviously, the choice of beer if you want to be really creative. Uh, the Crisp Angry Orchard is also a B. I'll get it if I if I don't see any, like, <laughs> any rosés. I'll get it. Other than that, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, for a cider-wise, I still find the rosé better and the green apple better. Uh, the Dos Equis, uh, Dos Equis Amber, this is also, this is a C, it's not really much of anything, I don't think it's actually as good as the Dos Equis. matter of fact, I don't think it even comes close, in my opinion, just wanted to let that out there, I'm actually drinking, like, a regular Dos Equis right now, so, I don't, I don't think they're really all that. Nah, I won't go out of my way to buy it. I'll buy something else. Uh, Dos Equis, probably one of my favorite beers, but it's not cultured. Okay, let's get this straight. It is not a cultured beer, but even though it's one of my favorites, it's up there. Pretty good, pretty smooth. You still get the hit from a little bit of a buzz. For me, if I drink about like three of these, then I start to feel a buzz, but pretty smooth. Uh, flat tire, flat tire is also trash hot fucking garbage enough said uh green apple put it in the same likes of this because green apple does not really compare to rose in my eyes it's pretty good but i will put green apple over crisp but they're still about in the same boat to me uh let's see here guinness or some people want to call it Genesis. People who call it Genesis do not really uh, like life at all. Guinness beer. I'm classifying all of them, all the different ones. I'm not a big blonde fan. I don't like. I do, I don't like them at all. So, but they're not trash. 100%. They are not a part of this. Okay. But I don't like them. Don't prefer them. I'll drink them if they give me a beer flight. But other than that, nope. Uh, Hakuna Matata. This is a lot of beer. This beer right here is cultured, okay? This is actually an IPA. That's probably the smoothest IPA that I've ever drunk before. And it's just... It doesn't give off a harsh taste. It definitely gives you a nice little buzz. 
I recommend it to everybody who likes IPAs and you know how IPAs has some of them have that strong orange fucking peel taste this does not have that they got rid of that this beer should be more known more often everybody should try this beer if they like just beers in general my personal opinion uh Heineken Heineken uh it's in the same boat with these others I I'll get it if there's somebody asks for it I'll get Heineken's I'll drink Heineken's if people have it that's that's about it um Henry's I have a problem with Henry's okay this is me personally I think they're straight doo-doo water these ciders or sodas or whatever you want to call them are complete hot garbage compared to compared to others so it goes down in the trash I personally do not like them they're not worth buying at all period McLobes, this is another water, but I have drinking so much of them, I put them here. I literally only drink them because my mom will buy them. The end. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's is up there in A's. This is what Henry's should have been. <laughs> Basically, Mike's Lemonade is pretty fucking good. You can actually mix this in with a whole bunch of trash cans and it makes the trash can so much better. Please try it in a trash can. If you know what trash cans are, such as Irish trash cans or any other trash cans that they have out there, please try it. Make your own trash can. That's what I love to do. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Uh, Miller Lights. Miller Lights are definitely a part of this B section. They're... Um, they're just kind of there. I'll get them if I don't want any other of these. And plus, it's a great 30 rack. I got two options. What's up? Or actually, three because I forgot Bud Light comes in 30 racks too. So what's good? Um, Mandela, the black version. The black version actually is uh, okay. Not something that I would buy. That's about it. I would rather buy the regular, which the regular is another one that comes into a gray 24 pack. I haven't seen a 30 yet, but 24, it's out there. Great. Uh, Reds. I personally think that Reds is the closest thing to Angry Orchard Rosé. In my personal opinion, being up there is it's one of the top tiers. It's pretty good. I like it. Y'all should try. Y'all should drink more reds. Honestly, I would rather prefer more reds. All I uh, like the colors and everything, the different flavors, than the than the Angry Orchard Crisp. Just my opinion. Uh, Shock Top, another trash one. I can't get into it. I don't like it. I it's too. The taste is too fucking. It's just fucking disgusting. Can't deal with it whatsoever. No. Smirnoff. Smirnoff is a good B. It would be A, but I cannot count icing people in this tier list. But there is no better thing than finding someone that just got iced. Especially the the one situation where we had that was in uh, San Diego and we put a ice in the toilet and... Homie had to go ahead and take that knee before he can even pee. Oof. That was hilarious to me. Uh, Stella. Stella's. I used to be really big into Stella's, but trying more beers, I found out that is just a basic bitch. They want to be all fancy. It goes right there in B's. Actually, I may put it down. It's pretty good beer, but the fact that I have to go out of my way to take the paper off and then... Pop the cap. It's too much work for me. I don't like it. It's too much. Uh, I feel like I'm about to say this one wrong. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it right. But to Kate or Ticket or whatever. Fire. Okay. 
these beers are pretty slept on. Not gonna lie, these are actually like really good beers. I just don't see them a lot. I don't go on my way to actually find them, but they're pretty good. Actually, let me put them down the B because I don't drink them that much. Just saying. But they are pretty good. People, please drink more different beers. Try more different beers. Uh, traditional loggers. I don't know how to say the actual name. Yellowling, yelling, yelling, ling, ling. It's going up in the A's. This is one of actually my favorite beers, even though I can't say the name to save my life. But it's a pretty good beer. I like it for uh, any occasion. I'll buy these beers. Okay, now we're down to the Voodoo's boy. Um, okay. Voodoo Ranger Imperial. And I'm going to put the regular one. Both are, I've had enough of them to, to know for a fact that they are okay. If you drink that whole six pack within about two hours, you will be fucked up. I try to drink a 12 pack throughout a whole night. Turns out, blacked out, <laughs> went to sleep, could not do it. So, pretty good, but the taste is fucking horrible unless you really like IPAs. I'm not a huge IPA fan, but Voodoo Rangers are probably my favorite IPAs along with the Hakuna Matata. But these two do not match what Juicy Haze brings to the table. Juicy Haze is top tier cultured right here. This beer is so fucking good. <laughs> so good compared to these two. It has that little bit of like harsh taste. But it's very, very minimal to where I can still drink it. And it still gives me that nice little buzz. And I like it a lot. Uh, White Claws. I was going to put this in trash. But it should it should actually deserve C. My opinion, I think they actually are trash. Those goals, these goals for Trulies as well too. Okay? Trulies, White Claws, like any, any beers that's like this. These like seltzer fucking beers. Are, I think are complete garbage. They do not taste good at all. I've tried all the flavors of White Claw. They're not good. The only way I can drink these like little beers is if I shotgun them. So if I don't get an actual taste out of it, not worth it at all. Not at all. Last but not least, homie, the Reds. The Reds Wicked are so fire this these ciders with i think it's like eight percent alcohol or something like that 8.5 or some some number that is eight are fire like i would i would drink just i would just drink and play games and have a great night <laughs> these are definitely worth buying over if you want to get a cider please buy these over any of these if you don't see these then I would be like okay get these other ones but this wicked is great 100% <laughs> great unless like if you're not looking for anything that actually gives you a buzz then I guess that you can go with other ciders but who drinks beer without expecting to get a buzz it's not a refreshment you can just drink water so that's that, that's about it. That's all that I have for this tier list. These are the main beers that I remember that I have been drinking on multiple different occasions on how I find, how I like them, dislike them, everything like that. So please, thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe and stay tuned for another video. Thank you.